happy Monday, everybody, from Lori's Living the Tasty Life and Wild Tree. How are you? I'm going to mess around with my new handy-dandy phone stand <laughs> um, that I got. So, first of all, excuse the hair. It's been a wild day, um, <laughs> and I really still need my haircut. So, again, Tammy, if you're watching, please schedule me. Um, so, it's been a super insane kind of day. If you're just joining say hi um, so I am late in starting my dinner had absolutely no plans on what to make except for I took out chicken that was it um, because we had a little bit of a scare today my um, 13 year old lab I had to rush her to the vet this morning because I yeah she um, she has some kind of condition called vestibular something something but anyway it looked like she had a stroke so uh, that's the wild ride. I've been like absolutely just uh, so emotional today and running really late and cooking dinner. So um, I decided to make chicken and mushroom risotto because I happen to have all the ingredients. My chicken was thawed. And uh, so here you go. Chicken and mushroom risotto. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. How are you? Hi, Julie. Um, so I already pre-cooked my boneless breast of chicken. It's almost done right now. Um, I'm doubling this recipe, by the way, so I have extra for lunches and whatever tomorrow. Um, I will post the recipe um, after this live. So I have six cups of vegetable broth with our wild tree, um, a tablespoon of our hearty spaghetti sauce blend, which I love. Like I said, it's not just for spaghetti sauce. <laughs> um, hi, Sherry. How are you? Oh, my fur baby, she's doing better. I was able to take her home. Um, she has a hard time standing. She's on medication, and I was told um, this will probably last anywhere from a couple days to up to six weeks. I hope it doesn't last six weeks. Um, but anyway, she's she's resting, and she'll 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 be fine. She's they're my babies. I have two 13-year-old labs, both girls. One Zoe, one's Maggie. Maggie is my black lab, and Zoe is my golden retriever yellow lab mix. Both rescues. And, um, yeah, they, uh, they tug at your heartstrings, boy, and I've just been a basket case half of the day, but I'm better now. She's home. The vet told me she should come out of this, and, uh, so we're all good because I was having the worst thoughts, of course. So, back to the recipe, <laughs> but thank you all for your, you know, I appreciate it. Um, so, six cups of vegetable broth is simmering on the stove with a tablespoon of the wild tree. Um, spaghetti sauce blend. I pre-cut up a package of um, baby bella mushrooms and an onion and I sauteed that in some olive oil. That's all ready. So now what I'm going to do is, and like I said, I'm, I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm putting in um, two cups of risotto and I'm going to, I already added cheese to that as well and now I'm going to start the process after I find spy, my spoon and toss the risotto and my mushrooms and onions in the pan with the cheese that I already have in here so everything gets all melty and stuff. So now I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit because it seems like I'm pretty low and slowly add in a cup of wine. So I am going to, I have a, a Chardonnay that I'm using today. So about a cup of wine. I'm just going to guesstimate, that's about a cup, and uh, after the day I've had, I'm probably going to have a nice big glass of that wine too. <laughs> Hi Tony, how are you? Um, so, I'm going to let that cook down for just a second, and let the rice start to absorb that wine, and then I'm going to start adding the vegetable broth that is simmering in the back, so I'm keeping the vegetable broth warm. When you make risotto, that's really important. To keep the broth that you keep on adding to your rice on a very low simmer because you want to keep your liquids hot. So I think my chicken is done now because it wasn't quite done so hopefully you can hear me better now instead of hearing all the sizzle of the chicken. I moved the pans around on my stove so hopefully you can hear me. Um, and hopefully the lighting is a little better and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, my girlfriend had bought one of these lights and I had always wanted to get one for my live presentations and this seems to be working out better because I can like, it's got like, I can bend the arms and do all kinds of funky things. 
So this is what, let me see if I can get this to work better. So this is what the wine and the mushrooms and the onions and the risotto looks like right now. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I didn't lose my phone. Now I'm gonna start adding in a cup of liquid. And as I add in a cup of the liquid, again, I'm gonna let that cook down. So the liquid that I'm adding is the vegetable broth with the um, spaghetti sauce seasoning in. And I'm going to cook it down. So I gotta have the temperature up pretty high because you're going to stir constantly. Risotto is not something you can walk away from, um, but this should cook up relatively quickly, um, and it is. So I'm letting all this liquid cook down, and then I'll add another cup, and I'll just keep on doing that until all the liquid that I have simmering in my pan is absorbed into the rice and the mushrooms and the onions. Oh, and with the olive oil, I did add um, four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Um, it just gives it a higher complexity um, flavor profile wise. It's just a little olive oil, a little bit of butter. Some just gives the flavor just bumps up like you can't believe. So this has almost got that whole cup absorbed and I'm gonna keep on adding as I'm talking. So how was everybody's Monday? Did you have anything exciting happen to you? <laughs> Besides me looking like complete disaster so again I apologize I'm just <sighs> I need to just take deep breaths and so maybe that's what we'll do we'll do a little meditation while the risotto is cooking how about that we'll go um... <laughs> I feel funny doing this while I'm cooking but you know deep breaths help <laughs> they really do help thank you Denise I appreciate the um, the uh, concern for my babies yeah my my fur babies they're bad and so back and forth I went to the vet twice today because I had it had to be a drop and leave her um, she physically couldn't can't walk um, she tries to stand up and she falls over and it's an awful thing to watch um, but I guess it's nothing to do with her ears it's just something that elderly dogs tend to sometimes get and it happens out of the blue and uh, I told my two kids they should become vets because they diagnosed it before I even got to the vet. And I had never heard of it before. And then of course the vet called me a little while later and told me that's exactly what she thinks it is. And I'm so lucky to have the fabulous vet that I have. Um, she's just wonderful. So shout out to uh, Dr. Kim if anybody uh, wants her information, side note, she's wonderful. Um, She's worth the extra 20, 25 minute drive that I have to go each way. She's so worth it. Um, anyhow, my risotto is on, let's see, I've added about two and a half cups of liquid besides the wine. And yeah, that bottle of wine is calling me. So I might just pour myself a glass while I'm talking to you here while this is cooking down. Um, what else? I'm gonna add some extra Parmesan cheese at the end of this. And then I'll post a picture when I'm all done because I don't like to, you know, make people wait. I think I'll just, I'll just do a small glass of wine today. A little tasting glass, what do you think? So this is just a nice Chardonnay. This dish will go very nicely with Chardonnay. Um, I tend to like a very dry, unoaked Chardonnay. So I'll give you a little wine knowledge on top of it. Um, I like steeled Chardonnay, so those are unoaked. Those are wine... Chardonnays that are um, fermented in a steel cask instead of an oak cask. Um, and then there's the oaked Chardonnays, obviously, in an oak cask. And they'll have a much more um, oaky undertone. Steel doesn't have any of that oak, obviously, in it, and that's what I like. I like it bright and crisp and clean and very lemony and buttery. So let's see how this one is. Oh yeah, very good. <laughs> this will go very, very well with this risotto. So I also, if you have um, frozen peas, or canned peas, but frozen is probably better for this recipe, you could throw those in to this recipe because it does call for them. Um, I don't have any. I happened to use all mine last week when I made a chicken pot pie. <laughs> um, so we're going to go vegetables tonight just because it's almost 7 o'clock and I'm just finally getting dinner made because I did work all day off and on you know between 
playing um, the doggy routine. And I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning um, because my husband woke me up in a panic because she, she could not walk at all this morning. And uh, our dogs just like to, uh, our, all of our animal buddies like to keep us on our toes, I guess, huh? Um, they're just like our kids, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I'm a huge animal advocate and lover, and besides being a foodie and a wine, <laughs> wine crazy person, and yeah, so um, I hope everybody has a great Monday. I will again post this recipe and some pictures afterwards. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, please share this video if you can. Um, if you know anybody that you'd like to invite into this group, I would love for them to join this group. Like I said before, I do plan on offering all kinds of content, and what you see is what you get. Me pretty, me not so pretty. <laughs> this is just me, and uh, so hopefully uh, you'll join me in my adventures, the adventures of Lori <laughs> and gang. So, cheers. Where's my glass of wine? Cheers. I actually have a glass of wine to cheers you with. Have a great night. Love you all. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the well wishes, and uh, keep Maggie in your thoughts that she heals quickly. Take care.